It happened. It finally happened. So, every month, the big publishers release early solicitations for their upcoming titles. These articles are mostly made for the benefit of retailers who have to review and order comics months in advance. But for comics lovers, it's super fun to look ahead and see what's coming up. I've been looking at these religiously since I was in high school. And this past month, for the first time ever, I saw my own name in them. If you look at DC Comics solicitations for February, you'll see a solicit for a title called Shazam! Fury of the Gods Special. Shazamily Matters. And check out the creator's list here. See that name? That's me! Anyway, I'm obviously super happy about it, but let's talk about how it happened. Roll intro. What is up guys? Andrew here and welcome to Comic Booker. All things comics from a creator. Okay, so how did this happen? Well, last year was my first full year as someone with a permit to actually work in the US. Long story, but I mentioned it in a video which I'll link up here somewhere. It was a rocky year and by far my biggest goal was working on this comic called Secret Heart Attack. First issue's out, link in description. While I was drawing that book, I worked on a page describing the first comic I ever read, talking about how it introduced me to a whole multiverse of possibilities. I didn't even know who Superman or Batman were when I read it, and it seared itself into my brain, starting me on a lifelong path to making comics. Now, Crisis on Infinite Earths by Marv Wolfman and George Perez is a canonical DC Comics text. And the book I was working on has many little homages to DC Comics. So imagine my surprise when I got an email from an editor literally titled DC Comics. After I'd calmed down, I reread the email and it was an invitation to submit a portfolio of my works, which I did. And then I waited four excruciating days for a reply. I'm not a bad artist. I'm not a bad artist. La la la. Games are so fun. Just focus on your life. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> After which, I got an email with an offer to pencil, ink, and color a 10-page comic story for Shazam, with the story by Ross Butler and Josh Trujillo. I did a bunch of paperwork shortly after that, signed off on Warner Brothers contracts, got a script, and sat down to work on it. It took several months of back and forth, and I had to work on it in secret due to non-disclosure agreements that I'd signed. But it was a blast. I can't overstate enough just how awesome it is to be drawing the story, starring a character people know. It's just words can't describe it. Here are some of the covers of the book. My favorite is the cover by Logan Faber, but here's a few more. There's the movie cover, the Stephen Byrne cover, and I think there's even gonna be a cover by Jim Lee. I'm totally gonna buy them all. The book comes out on February 28, 2023, and the final order cutoff date is January 29. Final order cutoff date is the date when comics retailers have to submit their orders for the book. So if you want to reserve a copy, tell your local comic store you want this book by January 29. I can't show you any of the behind the scenes stuff or pages right now, but I'll do that in an upcoming video. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Okay, so I've talked about the email, I've talked about the book, and I'm gonna talk about how I drew it in a future video, but I still haven't talked about how the opportunity happened. From what I can piece together, here's how I think it happened. Early last year, my friend commissioned a very special drawing from me. DC Comics character Raven from the gender-flipped Earth-11, most recently introduced in Multiversity Teen Justice. And I thought it was kind of cool because he looked a little bit like me, uh, and he was also a Filipino character. Anyway, I worked really hard on that drawing, and here's the final drawing that I sent in, which my friend was really happy with. What I didn't know was that my friend, who works in the industry, would show this drawing to his editor, a DC Comics editor. Based on that drawing, the editor looked up my website, scrolled through my works, found my email address, and asked for more samples. I sent him some samples, I waited a few days, he came back with an offer, and that's how all of this happened. When I think about it now, there's a part of me that wonders if I even deserve this opportunity. 
I mean, I'm like a lot of people, I grew up wanting to make comics. There's a lot of people there who have also wanted to do this for a long time. And someone might say it's unfair because I already have a friend in the industry who showed my work to an editor. But then I remember three things. One, I've had friends in the industry since I was in high school. I mean, now with comics conventions and social media, I know even more people. Just knowing them doesn't immediately translate to professional opportunities. Second thing is, I didn't ask my friend to show my work. He did it without telling me, which is so sweet and nice, and I'm just gonna be internally grateful for that. Maybe he thought I was ready. Or heck, maybe he just thought it was a really cool commission to show off. Either way, it wasn't my decision, but his. And lastly, the editor didn't know who I was. He didn't have to email me, but he reached out after seeing my art. That makes me feel like it was based solely on the merit of my work. All this to say that I'm really, really proud and happy that I'm getting to do this. And I'm even more happy that I get to share it with you guys. This channel is all about my journey to becoming a better creator. And it's the kind of comics channel that I wish I could watch, that I wish I could see on YouTube. So I, I just feel so happy that I get to bring you guys along for this ride. One last thing, as exciting as this all is, let's try not to get too excited. <laughs> this is after all just a 10 page story. If anything, it feels like one of those test jobs to see if an artist can handle deadlines and communication and handing quality work in on time. It's not a full 20 page comic or a mini series or an ongoing title. So I've still got a long way to go before I can call this a professional career. I don't know when or even if I'm gonna get another pro gig, but this is a really good start. Until then, I'm gonna keep working at my day job, I'm gonna keep drawing my book Secret Heart Attack, and I'm gonna keep sharing my story with you. I uh, hope you liked this video, I uh, hope it was useful. I just, I really wanted to share all of this, so super excited. Don't forget, final order cutoff date is January 29th, so tell your local comics retailer to order Shazam. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm just too crazy for this. Okay, until next time, peace.